Fashion Tamer, the tame one, bringing you guys another wonderful wig review. And this wig review is coming from a beauty supply. And yes, all of this long Rapunzelness of waves is actually no, no, no BS, no clickbait, no nothing. This wig was legitimately $500, $4.99 to be exact. So technically $500. So, I purchased this wig about a year, a year and a half ago, technically more than a year. It's almost been two years, basically. So, we might as well say, I purchased this wig two years ago from my job at Hey Beauty in Duncanville, Texas, and I will have the address below. And this is actually by a company called Wannabe. And the Wannabe uh, company is actually a company, it's kind of new, I'm gonna say kind of, they've been around for a while, but they have excellent, excellent, high quality human hair wigs. And yes, all of this hair that I have on my head is a 100% human hair. This is 30 inches, 130 density, I believe. But this is 30 inches of wavy hair, lace wig, frontal wig, 13 by four, parting, it's everything and a half. So. I'm gonna tell you what the box looked like. I'm gonna give you the details on it. Then I'm gonna give you my full-fledged final view, final view, final review of this unit and if it's worth buying. So number one, this is what your box looks like when you get it. Uh, it just says, you know, bestseller, wanna be 100% Remy Brazilian human hair. Uh, it is a premium lace front wig, and of course, uh, it has it all over the box. Uh, it does tell you the name. This particular style that I have on is FH Blooming 30 to let you know that it is a human hair wig and the name of it's called Blooming and it also gives you the length, which is 30 inches. And I got mine in a number one. Now I know you guys are figure, trying to figure out, well, if it's high quality human hair, why does it come in a color? Well, they only come in a few amount of colors. So if you want color color, we do have to do special orders to the company so they can give you that particular color. But what we carry in the store is legitimately only one, one B and a natural. And natural is almost like a number two. Um, but that's pretty much what you get with the box. I mean, it's pretty pretty basic. It's a slide open where you can store your wig with. Uh, I usually store my wigs back into this box, especially since I've paid this much for it. I'm going to keep the box. Um, there, are, there are two combs in the front, a comb in the back, along with the adjustable straps. Uh, I know you guys are probably trying to figure out with paying that much money. Yes, and I paid this with my own hard-earned money no i did not get no discount and i just said that really urban no i didn't get a discount i did sorry i paid it with my own money uh and i will honestly say this was probably like one of the best investments that i have ever spent especially since i know for a fact that i spent the money for it and i know for a fact that i'm getting a good quality and I understand that $500 is not in everybody's in everybody's budget, which is totally understandable. But how I see it is if you go to work every day, you take care of your kids, and you make sure that you are stable and you are not living up under a bridge, then you deserve to buy yourself something nice. And if it just so happens to be a pair of shoes, purse, or some hair, then do it. I don't care what anybody say or how they judge you about it. Period. Anywho. But yes, this wig is big head friendly. Matter of fact, I actually did the crossover method with this wig. So mine is actually a little too large for me. So I have to figure out how to make this fit my head shape. And I'm probably going to have to do the, the band method, which I haven't done in a while. But I believe I can do that on camera. So leave a comment below if you actually want to see me do a video on how I put a, a, a wig band in a human hair lace wig. Uh, as far as shedding go, there is a little bit of shedding. Uh, and I will say this, I feel like it's due to the fact that I did not use my knot sealer. And I'll do a video on like, you know, my favorite maintenance products for my human hair units. But what I do use is the Walker, the Walker tape knot sealer. 
and that usually helps with you know helps with me like making sure that I don't lose any hair so I've had a little bit of shedding but even with the shedding that I've had it's very minimal and it didn't affect the thickness of the unit so it's still pretty thick so if I've had shedding and it's still this thick then that $500 was very well spent just saying um, you are able to move the part any direction with me like you saw in the intro I did originally have it on the side but for some reason when I'd get wigs that have waves like this they always look better in the middle and I did a test run to see like the other day to see if it actually worked in the middle and come to find out it looks 30 times better to me in the middle so I went on and plucked it so I did customize mine a little bit to where I did pluck some hair out of the wig so I can have a permanent part because there's a good possibility I'm probably only going to wear this wig in the middle and I am perfectly fine with that. I'm okay. I'm good. Um, other than that, I would definitely say that this is a best buy that I have spent with my hard-earned money. It was definitely, definitely worth it. Do I suggest you guys to buy one of these wannabe wigs? Definitely. Definitely. So... If this video was informative and to you guys like it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And also make sure you hit that bell at the top to be notified when I, Fashion Tamer, the tame one, drops another video. And until we meet again, my Tame Raiders, bye.